Dr. James Talbot, the Chief Medical Officer of Health for the Province of Alberta. I'm here to discuss the results of the most recent report from Alberta Health Services Cancer Control Alberta on cancer in the Fort Chippewyan area uh, from the period from 1992 to 2011. The conclusions of the report are that overall cancer rates in the region are what would be expected for the rest of Alberta. There are 91 cases in the region in that time frame, and we would expect 89 from data for the rest of Alberta. However, there are three kinds of cancer that are cause for concern. They are cervical cancer. There are four cases in that time period, and we would expect one. Bile duct cancer, there are three cases, and we would expect zero. Lung cancer in women, there are eight cases, and we would expect four. Provincially, we know that almost one in two people will be diagnosed with cancer sometime in their lifetime, and unfortunately, that one in four will die from the disease. For two of the cancers that are of concern, we know the primary risk factor and want to work with the community to prevent these cancers. Cervical cancer is primarily caused by the human papillomavirus and HPV vaccine and regular pap smears with early detection and treatment can prevent cervical cancer and save the lives of women in the community. Lung cancer, as is well known, is primarily caused by tobacco and preventing youth from becoming smokers and offering programs to help people quit will also prevent this cancer. Bile duct cancer is more complicated the American Cancer Society lists more than a dozen causes with strong evidence. These include obesity, diabetes, cirrhosis, and hepatitis C, amongst others. While it's more difficult to prevent because there are multiple risk factors, uh, those risk factors can be reduced with chronic disease prevention programs. Alberta Health Services Cancer Control, Alberta Health Services Public Health, First Nations Inuit Health Branch, and Alberta Health are committed to working with the community to do what is necessary to prevent these cancers.